I'm Tim Keeshan and welcome to my studio. This is Moloch from the fields. And some people would think that I'm referring to the topography terminology, but actually this is actually the property that was once owned by the fields. This painting was a very interesting painting in a lot of ways, but in my first aspect of this, it's nice to be able to go back to this piece of property. Um, now it's owned by PG&E and it's open to the public and they have trails there that you can go and walk around and see and explore the seacoast. But back, the first time I came to this location was in 1977, maybe 76, and I was probably nine years old, 10 years old. And I went with my grandfather and my uh, grandma. And Julia was pretty active in the community with the Salzburg uh, Festival that was taking place in San Luis Obispo. So she had a lot to do with fundraising and organizing and putting this um, festival together. And so somehow she had um, a relationship or arrangement for us to come and visit the fields. And uh, it was um, very interesting to drive down this little dirt road in an old 1968 um, Ford station wagon. And it was quite something. But the idea of going to this site was to go visit this area where Disney um, filmed Peach Dragon. And they actually uh, erected a lighthouse on the point and they lit it for two days. They got special arrangements from the Coast Guard to do this. And uh, so this is one of my favorite movies still today. Um, with this particular painting, this is actually one of the first paintings that you would probably ever see that is actually three-dimensional. And if you zoom in, you can stop seeing the rock. And if you start zooming in further, you can see it maybe a little bit clearer. But if you zoom in even farther, you can get a different viewpoint of it. And if you keep zooming again, you start getting in and start seeing the rock even closer. And the interesting thing about this capability of this particular painting is that you can actually go around the rock. With this view here, you can see what it looks like in Moore Bay. And then even you can go around to the other side and see what it looks like from Strand Sand Beach. So, this has been a very fun project and fun painting. I had a lot of fun to deal with the flowers that were quite abundant this spring because of all the rain that we've been having in California. And so it was really fun to work with the magentos as my base and then bring all these colors in. So this painting is quite an interesting painting and it has a lot of colors in it. And it's so amazing because when you, when you do look into this painting, and then you look away and then you look back, um, sometimes you notice that some colors change and it's, it's just quite fascinating. So without further ado, let's see how this one was made.